In this video, I'm going to show you a new update. It's all released for the reporting system. This is an update for ZO CRM reports, okay, not for ZO analytics. In the past, the ZO report system was okay, but wasn't perfect. And I think the, the new update that ZO released is fixing most of the issues that I know of related to their old system. If you will go to your reports module in ZO CRM, and then you will go to create report. It's or that you will see what I see here, which is the new system, or the system will ask you if you like to upgrade the system to the new one. If you click yes, then it will take about a few minutes, refresh the page, and then you can see what I see. The first update is that when you go to create a new report, the system will ask you what will be the primary module. In the previous system, you had only one primary module, where here you can have multiple primary modules. In this report, as an example, I will try to see how many deals were created from a specific campaign that I released. So let's go to campaigns as my primary module. And now we will see a completely new interface. If you will click on the green plus, it will allow you to create multiple primary modules. And if you will click on the plus button, it will allow you to create more child modules, okay? In this case, I need only one because this is the campaigns. And I also like to choose the deals. And in my system, it called opportunities, okay? Now, once you select your child module, the system will ask you if you like to show all the campaigns or only campaigns that have opportunities. Okay? In my case, that would be probably my option because I don't want to see campaigns that have no opportunities. It's not helping me in any way. Okay? And when you're ready, you click on continue or you can continue and create more child modules to be assigned to the report. Next, you can see the report here. Now you have an option to change the way it looks like. You can click on the plus column and then you will be able to add and uh, change the different columns that you have on the report, which is also awesome before you had to go to edit, go to the report, make changes, go back. Not so great, but this is awesome. In this case, let's say that you want to have only deals or opportunities that the stage is close one. Okay, because I want to see how much money uh, I spent on the close one deals. Okay, and I have here three of them. One have no actual cost and two of them will have the actual cost. Now, as you can see here, I see two uh, records, basically I had two deals or two opportunities in this case that are assigned to this campaign, but obviously I need to group them. So both of them will be one. So I will go to the row groups and I will try to group them by the campaign name. And now you can see that I have a campaign name with two records and here one campaign with one record. Now, I also like to see the actual cost because I don't want to summarize it by myself. It's too much hassle for me. So I will go to aggregate columns and I will do a sum of the actual cost. And I will click on done. And now you can see that I have a grand total that will show you the sum of the actual cost. Okay. And let's click on save. Let's call it dummy report. We'll save it in the campaigns and we'll save it. Once you save it, you can run some filters on top of the report and that was something that was also in the past and now you can also have the next one. So you can have multiple filters applied on the report. You can create charts based on the reports. You can select what type of information will be presented in the Y and X axes, 
and also you can select the type okay and you can see it here um, you can also do more things you can send it over email which was also in the past and the export ability is very cool you can export the report or using a formatted report which if you will click on it you will see it's very cool it's uh, for Excel or you can do it with CSV and the CSV will allow you up to 50,000 rows which is awesome okay so I think uh, in general this feature is uh, or this update is cool it's letting you control your reports in a better way you have more options and if you know what you're doing with reporting it can be a very awesome tool if you like the session so far, thumbs up is always appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you like to see more Zoho stuff. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.